frapper. Um, I want to do as much of like this stuff, kind of media, um, speaking, writing. I want to really do as much of this as I can. Um, I'm also doing a history and politics degree as well. So, yeah, I'd like to expand my knowledge on that and then use everything that I learned in my history and politics degree with these opportunities. Um, I've actually just spoken to one of the ITV people and they said, oh, we... Um, we can basically get you to shadow a political correspondent, like kind of introduce you to kind of parliament and like the ins and outs of, um, yeah, media and politics, like political media, yeah. <laughs> and that which would, which is unbelievable for me. So yeah, I remember talking to Adam Hills and I did joke and I was like, I want to rinse it for all it's got, but no, <laughs> no, I'm, I, I don't want to do that. I want to do stuff that's meaningful for me. Um, I, I don't like. I never really put my name to anything that I don't believe in so yeah that was a, again a very long-winded answer but <laughs> uh, I mean what we're here today for is to inspire these kids here and to inspire kids to get into it but most of all for national lottery players to play the lottery please because your money funds these kids being able to have access to sport you're not just funding the likes of me who does it as my job and I'm really lucky to be able to do what I love as my job but it's to be able to allow kids like this who have disabilities they're inspired by us, so let them have access to it. You know, National Lottery Funding funds everything from the very grassroots to the very elite levels, and what we need more in the UK is, is equality across that. We want any kid to turn up to a club and be able to take up any sport they want, regardless of their impairment. So please play the lottery, and we want to get more funding into that sort of grassroots level. So, yeah. Paralympics GB have done unbelievably well. I mean, look, it's the... It's the uh, the best performance by any country ever in terms of breadth of medals won, um, uh, 16 uh, sp sports with medalling, you know, it's quite incredible and we're still sort of, you know, still going through it. So really, really proud. But I think it also be able to set in context in terms of the delay to the games. Many athletes had to massively change their training programs based on the fact that they were either, um, you know, uh, have to isolate or have to shield or you know because of the pandemic and so you know to go out there and absolutely smash it it's is so brilliant and and you know it's 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 great for uh paralympic sport but it's also great for grassroots sport um in terms of encouraging people to get involved and get moving